Ministers want private companies to invest in the link, but there have been reports that British Rail believes the project isn't viable without some government funding. They've already tunnelled more than six miles under the channel on the British side, but above ground the problems are mounting. British Rail's high-speed link across the Kent countryside is turning out too expensive, putting off the private companies who are supposed to be providing the money to build it. The government's own legislation stops it subsidising the project, but today the Transport Secretary, Cecil Parkinson, wouldn't rule out the possibility of using public money to rescue the link. It's a big project. Two parties who've never had dealings with each other before, a, a nationalised industry and a private sector company, are dealing with a very big problem, and the fact that there are difficulties to get round should be no surprise to anybody. At a press conference today, the tunnel builders, Eurotunnel, spelled out the importance they attached to having a fast rail link. The link between London and the Channel Tunnel, the rail link, new rail link, is essential in the interests of Great Britain and Europe and in the interests of Kent. That is the primary consideration. Quite obviously, rail transport is a major component of the tunnel, and therefore, if it's not going to be possible to have the infrastructure in place um, to, to serve that requirement, then yes, it is going to be uh, quite a problem for the tunnel. Eurotunnel says it's assuming the new rail link won't be in place before the end of the century. But without it, Britain will be cut off from the network of high-speed railways being built across Europe. <laughs>